User groups with lots to say, interviews and more. No way. Sharing great ideas in the tech community. Fascinating conversations, a plethora of information. Find out for yourself today at Ugtastic.com. Hi, it's Mike with Ugtastic. I'm here at SCNA 2013, and right now I'm sitting down with Steven Anderson, who has up until recently ran the Mad Railers group up in Madison, Wisconsin. Um, thank you for taking the time to sit down with me. Uh, you know, I understand that uh, you were running this group for, for a long time, but some life events have come up and you've had to identify how to transition the group over so that way it could still exist. Um, well, how did you go about doing that? How did you identify okay. uh, the plan? Well, the, the group was uh, passed to me in 2007 my friend who started the group uh, kind of asked me if I would take it over mm -hmm. because he was moving on to make some other things happen on his teaching front. Mm -hmm. He started in, just like he had started a Rails class in 2006, mm -hmm. he started a, an iOS development class in the Tech College in 2007, very cutting edge. Mm -hmm. And he was just clearing his, his plate to make something new happen. So uh, I was running Mad Railers for years, uh, but along the way, even though I was the kind of the figurehead and the person whose picture was on the, the users group, uh, there were many other people who were putting in as much effort as I was. Mm -hmm. I was just the, the point person who, who kind of chose who to delegate to on right. a frequent basis. And part of the time, the dynamic was kind of a core group of us making things happen and part of the time it was me or someone else in the core group mm -hmm. just uh, delegating and making sure that uh, an interesting event happened every month. Right. There was a point years ago when I started, um, not maybe not years ago, at least uh, eh? between two and one year ago I'd already started talking about maybe it's time to pass the torch find somebody else to run it who will bring more energy than myself mm -hmm. at this point in time. My interests have kind of, uh, like they do for many of us, you know, you know what you're passionate about uh, goes through phases and different steps and uh, I've become really interested in the dynamics of running, building, growing our business, mm -hmm. uh, which is a de different set of skills that I'm, I'm really intrigued in and pulled towards. Um, and I waited to pass the torch until it was pretty clear. This year it was very clear because uh, Zach stepped forward with a vision for content, refreshing the content, making it more attractive to the most experienced Ra Rails developers. Uh, we had made a very successful effort to make the group uh, attractive for new Rails mm -hmm. programmers and now so Zach pointed out that that was kind of um, causing us to be disengaged causing our most experienced Rails community members to be disengaged from the group mm -hmm. so let's swing the pendulum back right and he's been doing that and in recognition of the fact that he was doing more for the group than I was I asked him if he'd take it over so so it was a it was a happy transition and it yes. sounds like he was already somebody that you had been fostering in a community and then handing more and more of the uh, of the responsibility over is that um, I wouldn't put it that way uh, Zach is I mean he I, he didn't need any fostering <laughs> <laughs> no he, he's somebody who makes things happen yeah and my business partner Brad is working with him mm -hmm. to run the users group it's the two of them currently and I'm sure they're will continue to be a larger extended core of people running mm -hmm. it. Um, I wanted to step back for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is to let the group refresh with more energy mm -hmm. and more enthusiasm uh, than I was bringing to the table. And also to clear my plate, I'm trying to get uh, things to fall in play into place so that I can teach a night class at UW Madison in the spring, uh, web development with open source tools. Uh, so often, us professional programmers, we like to complain about the gap between what we do 
and what is taught in computer science mm-hmm. curriculum. So you're looking to find a, a yeah, I'm trying the world to, to close that gap. Yes. And that's exciting to me, and it's going to be challenging. I, I taught five classes of Rails at the Tech College, and that was a great, fantastic experience. I think there's going to be... I'm going to take a, a bit of a different approach with uh, the university. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. I hope everything falls into place. Do you think... Uh, you, well, one was that it's kind of funny that the last person that handed off the group went to teach, and now you're going off to teach, so eventually Zach is going to be <laughs> a teacher. So Zach now knows that his, his future holds uh, a teaching course at, at, at one of the Madison University. Uh, he or, would or, be killer at <laughs> He would do a really great job. Well, in a few years I'll be interviewing him and, and talking well, about handing off Mad Railers to the next generation. And it's a, it's a, it's a very interesting thing to see this community that was you know started and fostered and grown and maintained and nurtured and then it continues on and I've talked with a few people about that today is that we can build things in a way that's much like our software we can build it so that way it can be owned by somebody else and it will live on beyond us we can take that um, attitude towards our communities and try to build that in a way that when we step away or when we go away for whatever reason it, it keeps going it doesn't just boop there are some interesting details as part of that conversation. So, for example, my company, Brad and I started the company BendyWorks, but it was an offshoot from the users group, right. from Mad Railers. We've been very closely aligned with Mad Railers over the years, and we have run the events at our offices and uh, bought, you know, bought the food and the drink and kind of been the de facto sponsor a lot mm-hmm. of the time. And, and we've had many conversations about, is this a good thing? Is it, you know, what are the pros and cons? The, the pros are, you know, we make it happen. Mm-hmm. It's consistent. People know where to go every month. Right. I think the possible cons are we don't want, either in reality or in people's perception, we don't want people to feel like the users group is about our company because right. that's not the point. Um, the user group should be its own thing. And uh, perhaps it's damaging if it's a little bit too closely aligned in people's perception with a with a commercial company. Yeah, if it becomes the Bendy Works Mad Railers, yeah, it, it could also be damaging for other consulting firms in the area that have developers that would love to go to the user group, but it's a competition, and they might be afraid that you're going to poach them. Or yeah, well, I, I never heard those specific concerns. Um, but I'm hearing from the people who go to the user group. I'm not right. hearing from the people who don't go. Right, right, exactly. Um, well, yeah. consider me their advocate then. <laughs> uh, one thing that was really cool that happened this year is our public library did a, a huge remodel and they're reinventing themselves as kind of a collection of maker spaces. Oh, really? So they've got some gorgeous tech meeting spaces that are larger and better equipped than than rooms that we specifically remodeled space and bendy works mm-hmm. to allow the library is a step above that so we've moved the users group to the public library so that that helps as well that's very interesting that the uh, local community would be recognizing that need or desire I, do you have any insight into how that came to be i talked to the gentleman who is kind of the impetus at the library and he tells me this is a national movement that libraries are struggling to reinvent themselves and Mm -hmm. one of the things they're turning towards is um, providing a public space and venue for Mm -hmm. for teaching people how to make things and and to share skills that's interesting well good luck in your new venture and I hope the class turns out really good and uh, thanks for all those years of putting in Uh, the effort on on Mad Railers. Well, thank you, Mike. User groups with lots to say, interviews and more. No way! Sharing great ideas in the tech community. Fascinating conversations, a plethora of information. Find out for yourself today at ugtastic.com.